Chingüey, no se escucha nada. Hello, hello everybody. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this class. How was your day? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Pablito. How are you? Good evening, George. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo me les fue, chicos? Yeah, me so good, right? Yeah. Yes, okay, perfect. That's great to hear that. And I'm glad to hear that also, right? So this day, guys, we are going to see new things, right? So in this case, or in this uh, class, we're going to start new vocabulary words referring to the accounting vocabulary words. So that's me, we are going to practice. Practice vocabulary. But first of all, I would like to make a review. Ah, I guess the, the review is just, just to touch the topics, right? But I guess that you already understand perfectly what we were discussing or what we were we were saying previous in the previously classes, right? So I I guess it's not necessary, but we are going to touch a little bit, right? We are going to make it a little brief. A brief, and then we're going to start with the vocabulary words, guys. Uh-huh. So we are going to wait five minutes uh, to wait for the other ones that can connect it, guys, because we are one minute past eight. So we have to wait four minutes more. So we can pass the list, right? But for a while, guys, tell me something in English. Tell me, teacher, I went to the park. Teacher, I bought a pair of shoes. Teacher, I work a lot. Or maybe I pass, in, I pass a fun day, right? And I have fun with my friends or my co-workers. Tell me something in English, right? Whatever you want to tell me, please. Remember that it's your opportunity to practice, guys. What about making materials, right? Tell me something, guys. Dígame, chicos, cuénteme cómo me les fue para mientras estamos esperando a los demás que se puedan conectar. Please. But tell me in English. Hello, teacher. Hello, hey. how are you, Jennifer? How was your day? Voy a estar de bien, teacher, porque estoy en el trabajo todavía. Oh, okay, Jennifer. Thank you so much for noticing me. Just let me know when you arrive your home, please. Good night, teacher. Good night, Rachel. How are you? ¿Cómo me le fue, Rachel? How was your day? Uh, so, so. So, so. Why, Rachel? I have noticed that you are so tired these days, this month. Today, today we have to say... Goodbye, yeah. Goodbye to a uh, good worker. Oh, really? You are, ah, okay. You said goodbye a co-worker. Yes. Why? ¿Por qué, Rachel? Eh, le salió un mejor trabajo. Ah, because he ah. accepted a very, a better opportunity job, right? <clears throat> job opportunity. Okay, perfect, but that's good for him or for her. Es bueno para ella o él. Recuerden que, pues, es triste, ¿verdad? Pero también hay que alegrarnos, ¿verdad? Porque él va a estar un poco mejor o ella va a estar un poco mejor, económicamente hablando. That's good. That's happened, Rachel. But no worries, okay? No worries for that. Ajá, uh -huh, guys. <laughs> 
No se preocupe por eso, Richie. Ella o él va a estar mucho mejor, ¿ok? Va a estar en un mejor, una situación económica, ¿verdad? El lugar, no sé si será time, place, but we hope so, right? Pero lo esperamos así, ¿verdad? Que le vaya muy bien y que le vaya súper bien, tanto económicamente como en su trabajo. ¿Ok? <coughs> don't, be, don't be sad, ¿ok? No esté triste. ¿Cómo está, Monia? Se <laughs> triste. Ay, dice. Italina, tell me something. Uh, today I did very well. Just a little tired. Oh, really? You are tired, but you did very well. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Casada con sueño. Yeah, you were very tired, but you did it well. Usted lo hizo bien, súper bien. Entonces, esa cosa lo está muy cansadita, pero lo hizo súper bien ese día y le dio lo mejor es, es su trabajo. That's great for me. Yeah, I'm good. But you, you sound, you sound, you seems like to be very happy because I see a smile. Yes. So that's great. very, very happy. Okay, perfect. That's great to hear that. Okay, guys, someone else that had to share uh, wants to share his or her experience today in today's work. In the work? At the work? And, and me? Yes, you uh, General. <laughs> general. <laughs> Because you already tell me something in English, you pass the proof. Se pasó la prueba ahí. Yes, Paulito. Paulito, ajá, entra en la bola, Paulito. Ahí va, la papa caliente se tira. Paulito, ajá. Vamos. Vamos a hacer la dinámica. Usted me le va a tirar a quien va a hablar próximamente. Vaya, pero vamos a decir algo en inglés. Así lo vamos a hacer. Yo ya hablé, Paulito. Ya hablo, Rachel. My day was very busy. Ajá. What else? Um, also, the solve problem. Uh -huh. The of product safari line. Okay, perfect. So your day was so busy too, because. Por qué fue muy ocupado su día? Tuvo que hacer muchas qué. Or which, okay? Activity. Ah, you had to do a lot of activities during the day, right? Okay, perfect. That's great. Okay, vaya, pasemos a la papa caliente a otro, please, o otra. <laughs> Así vamos a estar haciendo cada vez que empecemos, fíjense. Voy a, voy a pedir que me hablen tres líneas o cuatro y así vamos a ir aumentando. En cuanto a su día y todo eso, y después usted me lo va a pasar al otro, y así sucesivamente. Todos hablemos, ¿ok? Teacher, uh -huh. I am going to be a uh, dinner. Ah, ok, It's you are dinner. going to have dinner, ok, perfect, no worries, Rachel, just let me know when you finish, Thank and you. enjoy, ok? Thank you so much for noticing. Thank you. Ok, Paulito, no, tell me, who is the next one? Next is Jorge Alberto Lainez. Jorge Alberto Laines Dia. George, how was your Hi. day? You had to say three sentences about what was your day. Come on, Susie. Oh, my day is fantastic. Okay, your day were, was fantastic, right? Uh huh. ¿Qué más? What else? I didn't hear you, George, but I feel it, it was so great. <laughs> okay. Muy bien, que no le escuché muy bien, George, porque había mucha interferencia en ese pedacito que pasó. Would you like to say something else? Okay, I get it, George. No worries. I get it. No, se preocupe, George. Well, 
Puedo ver cómo está ahí la cuestión, no se preocupe. Ok, thank you so much for your participation. Ok, perfect. Thank you so much, ok. George, ¿quién va a ser el siguiente, by the way? Eh, Erika. Italina, Italina ya pasó, George. She was the first one. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose for you, okay? Because I, we can hear you. Bye, vamos a llamar a Erika Ayala. Erika, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Erika, um, tell me, how was your day? Tell me three sentences describing I, your day. Okay. I'm was very good at work. Okay. Uh, because today they paid me. Hmm? <laughs> I have money. <laughs> money, money. Ahora vamos a ir como, como el meme que sale el, el, el pajarito <laughs> negro y sale bien así, ¿verdad? Y después al siguiente día sale la palomita. Sin nada. <laughs> Sale todo triste la palo. Yeah, <laughs> ya se gastó el piso. No es que es cierto. <laughs> en 15 días, lo tanto que cuesta, y en 3 días te va. <laughs> Mire, it's true, it's true. Believe me, that happens. The, the day that we are going to receive the money, we are going to like this, right? <laughs> And then the next day, when you pay, 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 pay for all the <laughs> for other tax, right? Yeah, yeah reality. <laughs> it's sad, but it's true. Sometimes, right? Sometimes happen. <laughs> that's right. But that's how funny, right? I remember that moment. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Brandon, Brandon Velasquez, are you there? Brandon? Yes, teacher. Okay, Brandon, could yes. you describe your yes. day in three sentences, please? How was your day? My um, day is so far so good, but in the morning it is dreadful because when I driving for my work, is a lot of traffic. But in the afternoon, they're eh, good. Okay. But so far, so far so good, teacher. So far so good. Yeah. Okay, perfect, that's great. Everybody knows, right, in the morning, it's a little bit difficult. Yes, we understand you, Alexis, because we know that there are a lot of traffic mostly in the in the hours of the people is getting is getting and the people is get out also right and also at uh midnight mid, at noon and like oh, I'm sorry midnight is midnight is solo at noon is terrible okay we know that the traffic is terrible at noon in the middle of the day it's not en la mañana y en de las cuatro tres y media para abajo está súper, súper, súper. Pero qué bueno que le fue muy bien, Brandon, en su trabajo. Lástima lo del, lo del traffic, pero gracias a Dios que en la tarde estuvo bien. Y ahorita lo vamos a reponer con la tarde. Ok, perfecto. Thank you so much. Okay, who is the next one? Choose another partner, please. Edwin. Edwin. Edwin, are you there? Edwin Escobar. Edwin Escobar. Edwin. No. Bueno, okay, so let's continue. Daniel, are you there? No. No. How was your day, Daniel? Could you describe your day in three lines, please? <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, my day is in the morning, sleep all the morning. Um, next, sleep. 
Sleepy sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's it. The sleep is it the whole day. Yeah, yeah. Did you eat something? Mm, no. If you didn't eat anything during the day? Water. Drink water. Just it's water. Only, yeah, it's only in my stomach. Te vas a enfermar, but you're not to get sick. <laughs> no, With any, no. any comments. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no. Is it? Oh no, Daniel. Oh no, Daniel, this is Tanina. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Good, excellent, Daniel. So, who is go who is going to be the next round? ¿Quién va a ser el próximo? Um, Pablo. Okay, Pablito, pero Pablito ya pasó, Daniel, ya. No, no. Hasta se ríe, por eso dice dos veces lo voy a elegir. Uh, Entonces, no, no, no. Italina ya pasó. También ya pasó. Ya, <ríe> ya, no la... ya no las. Pero los primeritos. Bueno. Raquel no ha llegado todavía a la casa. Rachel is eating. Bueno, la que sí, ¿quién? ¿Qué? Jennifer. Ok, Jennifer, ¿are you there, Jennifer? Are you there? Is our activity a group uh -huh. um, bastante como se dice bastante productivo ok a lot of a lot of pro productive right muy okay. bueno much productive super productivo DJ what are you doing Jennifer que está haciendo Jennifer eh, estoy haciendo um, mortadela con pis ah. de pistachio es una mortadela italiana ay mire Jennifer hasta ahorita sabemos de eso Jennifer, <ríe> porque no lo había contado Jennifer y sí. parmesan sí. ay miren chicos wow, like I like that Jennifer I like <ríe> cuando nos va a invitar Jennifer very hungry <ríe> we are hungry Jennifer we are hungry Very angry, exactly. I just kidding, Jennifer. Pero qué bueno que se haciendo. Y pues conocimos un poco de lo que usted hace en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Eso es bueno. Eso no es más entra en común. Mire, la vez pasada vimos que Cristina trabajaba en un banco. Allá agarraron su número telefónico. A Cristina le pueden preguntar y pedirle el brochure. Y acá tenemos a Jennifer también, ¿verdad? Que nos hemos dado cuenta que trabaja y hace esa, esas cositas que a todos nos gustan. Entonces... Podemos llamarle y decirle, mire, Jennifer, necesito un pedido de tal. Ahí está. Ok, perfecto. Thank you so much, Jennifer. parece que es enfermera. Cabal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vaya, mire. George, what are you doing, George? Vaya, it's your opportunity to talk to me, Jenny. Just say it, George, Jennifer, please. Dígame, dígame, George. Hoy sí, se, hoy sí puede hablar, sí se lo escucha bien. No. Okay, Vanios. Somebody else who wants to participate before to start with the vocabulary words. Uh, I ask you, teacher. Uh -huh, tell me. Uh, haremos las tareas que faltan ahora. Ah, quiere hacer las tareas las últimas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Please. Okay, es que hay, no sé si la 19 y la y hay una del mission de, de, que no creo que la he terminado, me falta una. Vale. Vamos a ver si tenemos un chancecito y la, y la vamos a, no, la vamos okay. a revisar. Okay? Al final okay. vamos a tener un espacio. Thank you, teacher. Y vamos a hacer la tarea. Okay? No worries for that. Okay. okay. Or if the other people, if other partners have the answers or have to share the answer, wants to share with us the answers, to share with Italina, you can send to her to the private, you can send a message, you can share the, the answers, okay? Please, if you want to share the answers for Italina, puede escribir la privado también y puede ayudarla también. Acuérdense que debemos ser solidarios, chicos, con los compañeros, okay? 
todos, todos nos ayudamos para todos poder salir bien en este curso ¿verdad? y seguir avanzando. Ok, okay guys, so we are going to start with the list because I didn't pass it yet, right? I'm going to ask you for your name and you are going to say present. Just give me some minutes to open the list and then we are going to start with the class. Vamos a ver. Solo 12 hay. Habemos. Yes, just 12. I don't know why, guys. Ya me afligieron. What happened? Vamos a ver dónde estamos. Control de asistencia. Acá está. Maybe they have problems to connect today. I don't know what happened. Espérense que eso no me quiere abrir. Ahora, chicos. No sé por qué. I don't know what happened with the internet connection. Ta, ta, ta. No me quiere abrir, chicos. <laughs> Bueno, lo que ahora vamos a poner lo de los bonos. Vamos a empezar con el vocabulario. Es because of the time. Ok, guys. Vaya. En el manual, there's a few vocabulary words, but I would like to share more than what you have in the manual mm -hmm. or in the handbook. For today, we have the topic accounting vocabulary. ¿Cómo? We are going to practice the accounting vocabulary, general accounting vocabulary. And for that, okay. we have this one. I have written, I have written as the, the English forms and the, the Spanish forms. And also, I have, I have, I, I try to share. The vocabulary reference to those areas, right? Or the or that area. For example, we have assessed, that means activos, liabilities, passivos, balance sheet, estado financiero, income statement, estado de resultado, o pérdidas y ganancias. There is something that you are going to use when you are going to talk about your company. Or you're going to talk about your job, etc. Maybe you it's useful for you, right? It depends on the areas that you are working right now. But this is general for you. You can use it whatever you want to use. Donde lo quieran utilizar, verdad? Depende de la plática que tenga. Okay. Also, we have financial statements, estado financiero o cuentas anuales. Okay. Income statement, estado resultado, pérdidas y ganancias. Double entry, that is doble entrada, debit and credit, debit and credit, bookkeeping, contabilidad, guys, bookkeeping department, el departamento de contabilidad, o contabilidad, fixes assets, activos fijos o activos no corrientes, for the ones that work at the bank, it's useful for you, all right? I guess it is okay for Christina, right? Christina is going to have is going to have all of these words in her workplace. Also, we have capital expenditure. That means gastos de capital, freehold premises, locales de propiedad absoluta. Okay, plan and equipment, planta y equipo. Pictures and fit, fittings, right? Instalaciones y accesorios, right? Current assets, uh, assets. <coughs> activos circulantes, accounts receivable, cuentas por cobrar o cuentas comerciales o when you are talking about deudores, right? Inventory or stock, inventario, prepayments, pasivos corrientes, right? Current liabilities, cuentas por pagar. Accounts payable, cuentas por pagar also, right? And bank overdraft, sobre giro bancario. Across the, the bengos or the, the bengos, I don't know what's that, that's right. Sales, ventas e ingresos. 
cost of sales, costos de ventas y bienes vendidos, purchases, right? Of purchase, compras, gross profit, beneficio bruto, overhead, gastos generales, right? Payroll cost, costos de nómina, ¿verdad? O pagos, la lista de pagos, right? Depreciation, depreciación, okay? This is for you guys. If you want, you can take a picture or you can write it down in your notebook. Just let me know when you finish and I'm going to continue with that. Vamos a ver, Pablito ya compartió, chicos. Hasta la 25. Y son 28, ¿verdad? Faltan tres. There is overhead, payroll cost, and depreciation. Could you send the picture, Paulito, please, to finish that? Finish the chair. Yeah. Take another picture to the last three words that are missing and share us, please. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay, guys, so let's repeat it. We're going to practice the pronunciations of each word that you have here. That is going to be useful for you guys. So let's start with the pronunciations. Repeat that for me, please. Assessed. 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 Or assets, right? Repeat. Assets. Assets. Liabilities. 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 Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance, Balance sheet. sheet. Sí, sheet significan hojas. Okay. Don't misunderstand. Okay. Income statement. Income statement. Income statement. Income statement. Income statement. statement. Financial statements. Financial, Financial statements. statements. Double entry. Double entry. Double entry. Double entry. Double entry. Entry. Okay. Debit and credit. Debit and credit. Debit and, credit. and credit. Bookkeeping. 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 Fixes assets. Fixes assets. Fixes assets. Fixes assets. Capital expenditure. Capital expenditure. Okay, capital expenditure. Capital expenditure. Freehold premises. Freehold premises. Es como que diga freehold, ¿verdad? Freehold premises. Freehold premises. 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 Plan and equipment. Plan and equipment. Plan, Plan and equipment. 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 Exactly, that's it, that is. Fixtures and fittings. And fittings. Fixture and fittings. Fixture and fittings. 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 Okay, fixtures and fittings. Yeah. Current assets. Current, Current assets. Current assets. Current asset. Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. Inventory or stock. Inventory or stock. Prepayments. 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 Current liabilities. Current liabilities. Accounts payable. Accounts payable. Bank overdraft. 
bank overdraft. Bank overdraft. Bank overdraft. Uh, <laughs> overdraft. Yes. Draft. Across. 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 Sales. <clears throat> sales. 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 <laughs> Cost of sales. Cost of sales. Cost of sales. Cost of sales. Okay, purchase. 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 Purchases. Gross profit. Gross profit. Gross profit. Gross profit. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over Favorite cost. Favorite cost. Favorite cost. Favorite cost. Depreciation. 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 Exactly. That's the way. Okay. Perfect, guys. Bueno, ese es el vocabulario que vamos a ocupar el día. Bueno, no toda, ¿verdad? Porque solo son algunos que aparecen en el manual, pero yo he querido extender el vocabulario para que usted pueda tener más de dónde agarrarse, como dicen. Ahora vamos a abrir el manual, guys. Oh, would you like to practice with these vocabulary words? So what we are going to do, we are going to make... So, five sentences using the vocabulary words that we have here, okay? Before going to the manual, please. Vamos a hacer cinco oracioncitas en donde utilicemos alguno de, los, de las palabritas que acabamos de practicar antes de irnos al manual, okay? ¿Les parece? Yes or no. Okay, teach. <laughs> oh no, teacher. Oh no. Um, o solamente lo quieren tener así, no les pregunto, porque si es, porque acuérdense cómo es este, ¿cómo les diría? Inglés técnico, ¿verdad? En cuanto a, un, a una área, ¿verdad? Tal vez usted no está en esa área. Entonces, este, estoy pensando si sí o no, ¿verdad? Oh, no, teacher. <laughs> what do you say? Yes or not? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, we have cost of sales. We have sales. Also, we have purchases across profit. Uh, bank overdraft. For that, maybe you have a bank overdraft in your credit card, right? You know, so I hit over that. You can use that word in that way, right? Accompatibles, accountability, prepayments, right? Inventory or a stock. Maybe the, the company have a stock. So you can use a, that word to make the sentences. You just write sentences say you can use that, right? Current assets, activos circulantes, verdad? Pues, si es algo que usted ocupa en su trabajo, pues lo puede hacer fácilmente, right? Sí, yo tengo problemas por internet porque hay cortes de energía. Ok, perfect.
Who wants to be the first one? You finish. Or you need more time, guys? Yes, we need to just. Okay, perfect. So let's give you the examples, please. Just give me one example of those words. Vamos, Brandon. Give me the first one, please. Brandon. Hello, guys. Who already finished? Guys, if you're not participating, we cannot flow the, the class, please. Hello? Bueno, chicos, entonces, este, vamos a pasar a manual, entonces, ¿ok? So, give me some minutes. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo estamos? Hola. Hola. Ejemplos de, la, de lo que hicimos. Ajá. Ah. Hay request, a bank, overdraft, yesterday. Ok, hay request. Ok, hay request, a bank, bank, an overdraft, an overdraft, yesterday. yesterday. Ok, perfect. Ok, perfect. Thank you so much, Cristina. Somebody else who wants to share? Teacher, uh, end of the month, you have to, res to review the fixed assets. The fixed assets, okay. Fixes, eh, bravo, bravo, bravo. Let's stop. Mm. Okay, where is the fixes? Fixtures and fittings, right? Or fixes assets, activos fijos y activos no corrientes. Activos fijos. Mm -hmm. eh, así como fin de mes, hay que revisar los activos fijos. Mm -hmm. in, in English, and of the month, you have to review the fixed assets. Uh -huh. At the end of each month, we have to check the fixes assets, right? Okay. Or we yeah. we have to give a report of the fixes assets. Those are activos fijos y activos no corrientes. Maybe could be right. Okay. Thank you so much. Who else? The same or the same or Excel. Which one? I didn't, I didn't understand it. The sales of this day were excellent. Ah, okay. The sales of this word this day was or were excellent, right? Were excellent. Excellent, right. Okay. Perfect. I didn't hear you very well, but that's right. Okay. The sales of this day were excellent. Who else? Somebody else? I need a report. The income statement. Okay, I need a report about the income statement, right? Statement. Okay, the income statement. Muy bien, excelente. Estado de resultado de pérdidas y ganancias. Muy bien. Somebody else who wants to participate? We call my uh, decision the same on the financial statement. Okay, we call? Make a uh, decision. We make? A decision? The same on the financial statement. Okay, about the financial statement, okay? Or our, or our report. Oh, and, or the states of the financial statement. Well, it could be right. Okay, excellent, Pablito. Vamos a ver who else. ¿Qué más quiere participar? Yeah. 
Hey, yeah, I didn't hear you well, George. I'm sorry for that. Could you repeat me, please? A statement, a statement have oversight. A statement have. Yeah, I didn't get it. Could you write the, the sentence, please? A statement have oversight. Statements are. Have. Ah, okay, have. Over, right. over, 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 over. The statement has. Where's that? Over here, right? Over here? Over that. I don't get it, George. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't hear you well. That is why I told you, could you write the sentence, please? This is the end of the month. You have to review the fixes assets. Okay, thank you so much, Brando. Now, George, could you write the sentence in the chat, please? A statement, huh? Oh, okay, have overdraft. Okay, thank you so much. Overdraft. Thank you. Thank you, George. Statements have have overdraft. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. Chicos, ahora vamos a pasar al manual entonces y vamos a ir a lo, a lo que nos pues nos compete ahorita en cuanto al manual. Vaya, la clase pasada estuvimos hablando, chicos, acerca de las preguntas que usted le haría a un cliente, ¿verdad? Que le quiere hacer, que quiere un reembolso, pero usted no le quiere dar el reembolso. Entonces, usted busca la manera de cómo <coughs> solucionar el problema. ¿Y cuáles son las preguntas que generalmente haríamos para solucionar el problema? ¿verdad? Entonces, decíamos que si le gustaría un cambio de producto o si le, le gustaría una garantía más, eh, con más tiempo, ¿verdad? O si le gustaría un descuento, y would, would you like a discount? Eh, ¿Qué más decíamos ayer? Uh, que le podía dar un regalo, algo. Ajá. Offer you offer a gift, muy bien. Uh, you offer uh, a gift. I would like to, to change this product. Okay, I would like to change this product, muy bien. But that's it, the, the, the statement that the client is going to give you at the moment that, is, that he or she is going to ask for a refund, right? But in the case that you don't want to make that refund or uh, give that refund, you are going to use some questions in which you are going to uh, explain it to the client that is better to obtain another promote another promotion, right? Or maybe a discount, or maybe a change, or maybe a warranty, or maybe those kind of things that you are going to do in order the client doesn't, okay, doesn't want a discount, okay? Que no quiera o no quiere el discount, el, 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 el reembolso, okay? Del dinero, okay? Perfect. So what we are going to do right now, guys, now in unit three, customer service, talking about customer service, vocabulary practice, write the missing letters to complete the words that you have in orange, okay? So, what are the words that are missing here or the letters that are missing here to complete the word? What is the phrase that we are going to complete here? For example, we have pick up the phone, right? Pick up the phone. I tiene el teléfono, o toma el teléfono, right? Pick up the phone. And number, number two, What could be the words of fix here? I do something. What? Well, what would you like it, teacher? What? Vale, usted va a completar la palabra con las letritas que le hacen falta. Por ejemplo, aquí. ¿En qué página? What? 
Ah, but which I, page? Okay, which it's friend? page 37. Open the manual in page 37. 37? Yes, 37. Unit 3? Unit 3, yes. Es que esta no tiene el número. Just look for the unit 3. This... Busque la, la unidad 3. Creo que es la, prim sí. la primera parte de la unidad 3. No. La, no, la que sí, ve la, la página, sí. En la página, ya casi terminó. Casi lo último es. Lo último, ¿verdad? Porque la, la número. ¿Dónde está un lapicito? No. ¿Dónde no, está un, se, un señor dándole la mano? Ajá, a la siguiente Very página sorry. es. Ah, ok. Very es sorry. que no tienen número. Cuando uno lo imprime, no sale número. No salen Bien, enumeradas. Tiene que más pequeño. Rica, tiene que imprimirlo oh. al 90% para que le salga. Ok. <ríe> Thank you. Bueno, well, ok. Y la primera decíamos que era pick up the phone. Ok. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. the phone. Acuérdense que es vocabulary practice about customer service. Quiere decir que son relacionadas ah. con el servicio al cliente. Yeah. Entonces usted va a decir pick up the phone. La número dos, alguna palabrita relacionada Call. con el customer service Call. que termine Call. con Y. La número dos, chicos. Number play. two. Play. Pay. Muy bien. Ay, play. play. No. La tres es call. Pay. 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 De pagar, right? Pay. 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 Ah, se, se, se pone, se escribe pay. Ajá, para decir se escribe pay. Pay, ajá. Ahora bien. Eh, number call, three. Call. 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 Muy bien, excelente. Llamada, call. Y así sucesivamente. Vamos. Eh. You're going to look for the for the word the words of the letters that have, are missing, right? In the spaces in blank.
No quiero que vean mi angustia, quiero buscar. Buscar en el vocabulario que tenemos anteriormente. Sí, Ahí están aquí las estoy buscando. <risa> ok, perfecto. No se preocupe. No, me necesité un poquito. Chingo, y te doy los 15 dólares ahorita, llame estas cosas. Ahorita. Aquí solo te completar estas palabras, Pi. Estas. Mm. Como voy a saber qué palabras. No sé. Pero se lo estaba bromeando, chingüey. No. Nada que ver. Metrófono.
Esas son las que van a tomar en cuenta para poder resolver el, eh, las letritas, ¿ok? De aquí van a sacar. Tómenle captura y voy a hacer al manual, ¿ok? A lo de la página del manual. Ya se las mando, entonces. Voy a la mandar. Bueno, ahora nos vamos a la página que es. Vamos a ver cuál es el próximo. La planta. Página 29. Ok. 29. 29. Ya me pasé. 39 sería, right? No, 29. A 37. No, para esa, la que mandé es donde está el vocabulario que vamos a utilizar aquí, chicos. En la página 37. Ok, 37. Yeah, but the vocabulary is the page 29. 29, really? Ok, perfecto. Yes. Vaya, entonces ahí lo pueden sacar. Por ejemplo, pick up the phone. Aquí tenemos call, decíamos. Aquí tenemos. Ajá, ya sé, ya sé cuál es. Sí, ya sabes. That it is, right? This is pay or buy. Is buy, right? You finish, Brandon? Ya casi, ya casi. No yet. Okay, perfect. Almost. Casi. No yet significa no aún. New vocabulary word. Okay, watch. no yet, teacher. No yet. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Oh, Finish, teacher. Excellent. So we are going to wait three more. Okay, and then we're going to check it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Finish teacher. Okay, perfect. Two. So we need two more.
en este caso. Okay, let's agree. It. So the first one is pick up the phone, right? Pick up the phone. Number two is buy or pay. Buy, teacher. Buy, right? Buy. Let's see number three. Number three is call. Call. Call, muy bien. Where's the number four? Get the price. Get, price. Get, Get price. prizes, right? Get prizes. Price. Number five. Explain. 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 Muy bien. Number six. Complain. 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 Uh -huh. Muy bien. Complain. Number seven. Help. Help. Which? Help. Muy bien. Help. Excellent. Number eight. Assist. 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 Okay. Perfect. And the other one, the number nine. For save. For save. Save. Okay. Save. For save. Con P, right? The P. Number 10. Understand. 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 Provide one's information. Provide one's information. Provide one's information. And the last one. Request, request information. information. Request it, the information. Muy bien. That's the vocabulary words that we were uh, studying previously, right? So what we are going to do now, write the adjectives to show the customer satisfaction and the satisfaction about a product, okay? So you are going to write some adjectives that describe when the client is happy with it the product and what are the ones that when the client is no happy with the clients so what we are going to do for example when the client is is satisfaction satisfaction is happy yes or not Cuando el cliente está tiene satisfacción con el producto, ¿está feliz, sí o no? Yes, yes very okay. happy. Entonces, un objetivo que yes. describe la satisfacción es happy, ¿ok? ¿Qué otro objetivo en español conocemos para describir que los clientes están satisfechos? Teacher. Ajá. Tell me, Ita. Ita, are you there? Sí, está feliz, teacher. El cliente con esta satisfecha. Ok, es happy. ¿Qué otro adjetivo es que describe cuando el cliente está satisfecho? Mm. Agradecido. Emocionado. Ajá, él está agradecido, muy bien. ¿Qué más? No llama para decir que está satisfecho, dice. Solo llama para hacerse las quejas, dice. Solo para hacer make a complaint. Solo para las complaints. Solo para las complaints when the clients and satisfaction. Satisfaction, right? You, he or she doesn't call to, to appreciate your work, right? Yeah. Para apreciar el trabajo del, del, del service, right? Agent, del agent. Or customer service, right? Vaya, ¿qué otro decimos? Está happy, está, está es, es satisfecho, está agradecido, está qué? He's no or she is not serious, ¿verdad? No está serio, está qué? Cómodo, comfortable with the product. Está cómodo con el producto. ¿Qué más? Etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Y cuando está dissatisfaction, ¿no está satisfecho con el producto? Enojado. He is angry. Like uh -huh. angry. Angry, muy bien. He's angry. What else? Annoy, ¿verdad? ¿Qué más? What else? Un happy. No está feliz. He's unhappy. What else? Oh, 
Ok, that's it. Vaya, lo vamos a dejar ahí porque creo que... Voy a mandar una lista de adjetivos al, al WhatsApp group le, después de la clase, ¿ok? Vale, chicos, dice, transform the negative sentence into the positive ones. This is going to be about the simple past tense that we were eh, studying previously, where we talk about didn't or did, did not, or the question form that is did I or did you or did he or did she, etc., etc., right? But in this case, we're going to just add the word not plus the auxiliary verb did, or you are going to use the abbreviations or the contractions that means didn't. Okay, for all the pronouns that we need, we have, okay? For example, we have, okay, vamos a pasar a positivo la cosa, al revés, okay? She didn't buy that computer. What is the positive form? It's a she did buy the computer. She did or she bought? She bought. She bought the computer. Recuerden que el did lo vamos a ocupar solamente en negativo, que ¿okay? es como auxiliar, como verbo auxiliar, más en negativo y también en preguntas, pero en el positivo no lo vamos a ocupar. Solamente en respuestas cortas, ¿ok? Bueno, she didn't buy the computer, ¿ok? She bought, she bought that computer, that's the first one. Number two, we didn't bring that package. What is the positive? We brought that package, right? Nosotros trajimos ese paquete. Y así sucesivamente. Vale, vamos a buscar los verbos. Tienen la, les pasé una lista de verbos, chicos, la vez pasada. Ayer mandé una y otra. Sí, ajá, también. Brandon mandó una, sí es cierto. De adjetivos, teacher, como adverbs. No, aquí tiene que mm. buscar el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El, el verbo en forma de pasado. Por ejemplo, si tenemos by aquí, ah, va a buscar yes. el pasado, ¿cómo se dice by? Para formar la oración en positivo, porque aquí te la están dando en negativo. Esta misma que tenés acá la vas a pasar a positivo. Y como en el positivo no se ocupa el auxiliar dire, entonces usted va a poner el verbo en pasado. Sin el dire, ¿ok? Sin el dire. Solamente el verbo en pasado y después lo mismo de la oración. ¿Clear? ¿Ok? Go ahead.
Finish the question. Okay, perfect. Who else? Más chicos. Okay, vamos a esperar dos más. Y luego vamos a checar las, las respuestas. Okay.
finish? Somebody else already finished? Bye. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, vamos a ver. Number one, it says, she didn't buy that computer. So that means she bought that computer. Number two, we didn't bring that package. We said, we brought that package, okay? Number three, the client didn't call yesterday. The client called yesterday. Number four. Who said number four? Who said number four? The All employees two. read the employees read the mail. Okay, the employees read the read mail. The mail. The okay. mail. Number five. Our boss came back last week. Okay, our boss came back last week. Last, okay, last week. perfect. Thank you. Number six. They canceled, they canceled the meeting. Okay, they canceled the meeting. The meeting. Okay, number seven. The lady wanted to complain. Okay, the lady wanted to complain. Okay, perfect. Number eight. I sent her phone to this email. Okay, I sent the phones to this email. Okay, excellent, guys. That's the way. So what we're going to do now, now we're going to practice the way that we create some questions using the auxiliary verb do. Create information questions using the verb giving, right? Then ask the questions and write the answers. So what we are going to do, you're going to use this verb that is between brackets or parentheses to make that question. So you are going to use information questions. And what are the information questions? They ask for a specific information and they are with WH words. For example, we have the number one, we have the verb do. So an example could be, what do you do? Get look at what do you do? Or what did you do in this case? What did you do? Okay, sister, ah, I did my homework. Okay, yo hice mi tarea, pero siempre va a ser en pasado, okay? Que por qué este queda do al final, teacher, así nomás, porque el do en este caso está funcionando como un verbo, usted le va a poner lo demás, okay? Por eso es, what did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? Ah, I did my homework. Porque el did es el pasado de do. Pero en este caso lo vamos a ocupar como auxiliar. What did you do yesterday? Ah, I did my homework. Number two, the verb go. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que iría mejor con el verbo go? Using the WH words. When do you go on the beach? Maybe? Okay. When did you go to the beach? Uh -huh. O oh, where did you go yesterday? ¿Dónde fuiste ayer? ¿O cuándo fuiste a la playa, verdad? I went the last week. Yo fui a la playa el, la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Y así le van a poner la respuesta. Y así van a ir haciendo las demás oraciones. ¿Ok? Is clear what you are going to do? Guys. Yes, it's clear, teacher. Ok, perfecto.
If you need help, please, please let me know. I can help you. Finish. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>
Guys, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, so where where is it? Okay, how is it the second one? Go. An example. When did you go yesterday? Okay. Where did you go yesterday? Donde fuiste ayer? I went to what? I went to the beach. I yesterday went to the beach. Okay, I went to the beach yesterday. That's the answer, right? Number three. What is the number three? The bird is by. <clears throat> what do you do? What did you buy uh -huh. at the store? What did you buy at the bookstore or at the shopping center, right? Or the store? Clothes store, right? Okay. I bought. A new car. A new car. Okay, perfect. Number four, the verb is work. Where did you work last night? Where did you go? Where did you work last night? ¿A dónde trabajaste la noche pasada? Okay. I worked. ¿Dónde? In a restaurant. I worked in a restaurant. Muy bien, excelente. Number five. The bird is read. What book did you read? Uh -huh. What did you read? Uh -huh. I read. I read the Principito. Okay, I read. Uh, the Principito. El Principito's Na book, right? A novel. A novel también. Uh -huh. Muy bien. An novel? Ah. <laughs> I read, uh, como escribiendo una novela, ¿no? A novel. Uh -huh. novel. A novel, novel, novel. novel. Uh -huh. Sorry. Novel. No, no, <laughs> novel. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank so you for you. <laughs> no worries, Thank you so much. No. <laughs> okay. So let's see number six. The bird is seeing. What did you see in the cinema? What did you see in the cinema? Uh -huh. I saw what? I, I saw what? I saw, no, I saw what? I saw what? I saw an action movie. An action movie. Muy bien, excelente, Cristina. That's the answer. I saw an action movie, okay? So let's see this one. This is the last thing that we're going to do right now because of the time, right? So let's see. Describe the financial activities that my company or someone else has, okay? Financial activities, let's talk about that. What are the activities that they have? ¿Cuáles son las actividades financieras que tiene su compañía? O la compañía de un compañero. They have sales. Sí. They have sell the bank. Uh -huh. uh, 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 they have a uh, account the bank. I I, I open count the bank. Uh -huh. You open it. Uh, you have an account in a bank. In a, in a, in a account in the bank. Uh -huh. right? It has incomes and no comes, right? Entrada y salidas. The yeah. dinero, right? I yes. check in. Uh, I check in money, bank, uh, a pay em employee. Okay. <laughs> you may uh, what? Okay. The... Chequeo la cuenta a ver si tengo dinero para pagarle a los empleados. You check the, the account if you have enough money to pay the employees, right? Si yeah. tienes suficiente dinero para pagarle a los empleados. Ok, muy bien. What else? 
the machicos no more no okay. more thank you so much Bye. ahora vamos a pasar al punto número dos match the different financial statements with their definitions compared with a partner so we have cash flow we have income statements we have equity statements and we have balance sheets, right? Hoja de balance. Este tenemos eh, ¿qué? declaraciones de patrimonio. Oh. Right? The equity statement. Incomes statements. So, ¿qué? Eh, estado de resultados, ¿verdad? O cuánto mm. se vendió, cuánto se gastó, etcétera, etcétera, right? Cash flow, mm. que es el flujo de, de fondos, cómo va, ¿verdad? El flujo de fondos, etcétera, etcétera. So we are going to match the, the letter with the number that contain the correct definitions of each concept that you have there. Okay, for example, what is cash flow? Is report of the changes in retaining earning of a company during the stage period, or is report company's assets, liabilities, and owner quality at the given points in time, or is reporting a company coming and a coming of cash, it operated, investigated, and financial activities, or is the number four that is summarizing the company income, expenses, or profits? over a period of time. Oh, también, por ejemplo, el balance. Ajá, la hoja de balance. Uh, yo le pregunto a la de contabilidad, excuse me, I want to know if uh, by in the treasury, the balance of this year, que se presentó el balance de este año, en el Ministerio de Hacienda. Ajá. Vaya, pero aquí solamente vamos a, a ubicar la letra en el espacio en blanco, corresponde. Porque esto de acá, de este lado, es lo que describe qué significa cada uno de ellos. Ok. okay. Por ejemplo, este balance sheet, que es una hoja de balance. Es la número uno, la número dos, la número tres, la número cuatro. Right? Vamos, niños. Tenemos diez minutitos. Y es lo último. That's the last. And then we're going to stop there. Ya casi terminamos. Solo esto. Es que el menú hay que, hay que avanzarlo. No lo vamos a avanzar. Es por eso. Pero eso es lo último, sé que es un poquito tedioso, un poquito cansado, pero hay que hacerlo. Por eso que vamos a un nivel más alto, por eso es que las actividades son más que todo de leer, de hablar, etcétera, etcétera, right
finish finish guys okay guys so we are going to stop here because of the time and we have to pass on this for a second time right so we are going to see this part for tomorrow right try to make it at your home as a homework and then we're going to check it tomorrow please so i'm going to check i'm going to pass the list one more time and then we're going to go to the bed okay don't worry for that i know that you're tired right now right and i understand that okay but so just let me check the list please Vamos a ver. Okay, guys. So, Alex Eno Ramirez Salazar. Here. Thank you. Ana Lisset Pérez Colindres. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brandon Alex Velázquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Cristina Beatriz Rivera de Caravantes. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel Ernesto Abrego Brizuela. Erika Lisset Ayala Ramos. Fabiola... Present teacher. Thank you, Erika. Fabiola Giselle Molina Saavedra. Francisco Ernesto González Boquín. Italina Castro. Jennifer, thank you, Ita. Jennifer Guadalupe Rivas Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Alberto Laines Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you, George. Jose Edwin Escobar Posada. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Edwin Karen Arely Torres Garcia. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Nelson Arnoldo Revillaga Quintanilla, Oscar Daniel Castillo Ramos, Pablo Adalberto Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you, Pablo. Salvador Wilfredo Serón Palacios. Present teacher. Thank you, Salvador. And Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here. One more time, right? So. I, I don't have anything to say that. Good night and have a nice dreams, guys. And I see you tomorrow at the same time in the same channel. Please don't forget to make the homework. If you have any questions, please text me. And I'm going to try to help you as soon as possible, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye and good Bye. night, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Good night. Take care. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Este, las disculpas del caso, pero me han tenido bien ocupado todo, toda la clase. ¿no? Sí, yo sé, George, no se preocupe. Así lo he visto que han dado para un lado, para otro, para otro, para otro. No se preocupe. No worries. Good night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good it's night, tomorrow. Talina. See you tomorrow. Also. Tomorrow, tomorrow, see you. See you.